hey everyone welcome back to the channel so today i thought i would continue speaking on goddess energy but more focused on the dark goddess aspect of the energy since a lot of you guys wanted to know more about that so tapping into your dark feminine energy is very easy okay First, I like to start with, do you really want to tap into that energy? Ask yourself, what is it you're trying to accomplish before you tap into this energy? If you're trying to accomplish something that is empowering or satisfying to yourself, then those are good enough reasons for me. So first of all, what you need to do is think darker. Think darker means, you know, maybe... Add a little bit of darker colors to your wardrobe, a little bit of darker colors to your makeup palettes. If you're, um, you know, if you wear makeup, dress a little bit more sexier versus, you know, uh, plain. So add a little bit of sex appeal to your wardrobe. Choose clothes um, and dresses and shoes that make you feel empowered or sexy as a darker feminine goddess and wear that and maybe even get you some lingerie and wear it under your clothing to give you that you know femme fatale energy when you go anywhere when you walk into a room and make sure that you are you know implementing dark goddess energy or dark feminine energy mindset which is unapologetic, very um, sensual or sexual, um, mysterious, and um, not a pushover in the least. Okay, so you need to walk and talk in that dark feminine energy. And usually people respond very easily to that energy because it's very enchanting. I would say, uh, especially men. Men like that dark feminine energy when it comes through. So um, heels, sorry, y'all, the little green screen is heels, nails, makeup, jewelry, darker clothing, throw on some eyeliner, get your eyes working because the eyes are very much part of, you know, making eye contact to give that mysterious dark feminine vibe when you are speaking to someone. So, you know, you're going to look into their eyes and your eyes need to be mysterious and very enchanting. So you're going to need to do some makeup and some eyeliner on those eyes, ladies. Um, when you say something, mean it. Don't be wishy-washy. That's not dark goddess energy at all. It's not dark feminine energy at all. When you say something, you mean it and you don't fall back on it. Okay. So say what you mean and mean what you say. Control your emotions or be less emotional, a lot less emotional, you know? So if you're one of those emotional women that always need to have validation and, you know, uh, need to know that your man is listening to you or whatever, whatever. You don't, you don't want to do that. Okay. Don't care. You have to have a cold feeling that you don't need that person, especially if you're, you know, trying to woo someone or if you're in some sort of dating or relationship, you have to be a little bit cold and uncaring. That's going to make them like really want you. Okay. You also have to show interest, but not too much. You know what I'm saying? And definitely make sure that they know that you don't um, play around. Like you're not the one to be messed with. <laughs> so a lot of times men especially will be intrigued by how direct you are. And they don't come into a lot of, you know, women that act that way. And so they may be intrigued and want to, you know, find out where this may lead. And so when you could get, when you can get men wrapped around your fingers, 
by using the dark feminine energy, then you can pretty much get whatever you need them to do. Okay, so make sure you, you understand that. If you are too nice, if you are too, um, you know, love and light and stuff, it's, you're going to have to tap into your dark feminine energy and stop caring. You have to turn off your emotions and turn on your mystery, your sexual vibe, and your ability to enchant. If you're unable to do that, you got to work on it every day. You need to get the outfits and all of that in order to embody this dark feminine energy. If you don't know how to do it, then um, you're going to have to watch women that walk in this type of energy and emulate them. Okay. Um, so get, get your stuff ready and try it out maybe this weekend or this week or whatever and see what happens. Let's see what, what, you know, what type of energy you're going to give out and what kind of um, responses you're going to get. See if they're more positive to your, you know, benefits that you're trying to get. Okay. Someone said, watch Adam's family. Yeah, this is not going to be a very long video, but I did want to let you guys know that I do have some book recommendations. Um, and I have, I have them linked in the description as well as at the very top of these comments that are live. And I'm going to link my Amazon um, spiritual shop um, link where I just pick out stuff that I recommend for you guys on Amazon. So y'all can just shop through Amazon. One of the books that I found last night in my own personal library, um, I got this a long time ago and I haven't even read most of it yet. So I've just started reading it, but it's old. It was written in 1984 and it's about um, the divine feminine. Fruits of the Moon Tree. So this is a good occult book for those of you who are, you know, into occult knowledge. And it goes into the spirit, spiritual occult aspect of the goddess and all different types of goddesses and all kind of stuff. So if you're into the occult knowledge or hermetics or just, you know, um, witchy stuff, this definitely is going to be a good book for you. It is by Alan Bleakey. Fruits of the Moon Tree, and it's going to be linked at that link as well as some other books um, and cards and all that kind of stuff. So I also recommend Lilith books, any book that talks about um, dark goddesses, but the main one is definitely going to be Lilith. So any book on Lilith, I do have linked as well, a couple of Lilith books and things like that. There's also some spell books with um, Lilith energy that link there so make sure you check out some of those books if you're curious so tap into that energy tap into that i don't care i do what i want energy tap into that i know you want me energy tap into that you can't resist me energy tap into that i said what i said energy but in a sexy way okay yes red lipstick it always gets men's attention so wear some red lipstick definitely or a darker color lipstick if you can't pull off red a darker color is going to help you. Um, definitely recommend like um, nails because it reminds them of you scratching them. Even if they're pressed on nails, ladies, it don't matter. Just wear them. Um, <laughs> heels, definitely. Lingerie. Show a little bit of cleavage and be unapologetic about how you walk into a room. When you walk into a room, command all the attention. Okay, dress like you want all the attention in the room. Not slutty, but subtly, darkly sexy. That's always going to get the attention, okay? Um, so get your heels out, get your skirts, your dresses, your blacks, your reds, your burgundies. I know it's springtime, but you can still use black in darker, you know, darker colors to pull off, especially in the evening time. It's okay. So make sure you get it, you know, get your outfits together and go out and invoke that dark feminine energy and see what happens. Okay. You can even use it in the workplace to get what you want. Um, so make sure you're doing that. Good stores to shop at? Well, I shop everywhere. I don't even care. Like if I if, if I like it, I, I buy it. Like I'll just type in on the internet, 
black fitted, you know, um, knee length dress or, you know, um, black heels or black lingerie or red lingerie or something. Just go type it in and all the stores will pop up and you can see which one you like best. OK. It doesn't even matter. So shop wherever you choose to shop. Um, I got I get a lot of my stuff, like really cutesy stuff. Um, like they have a lot of stuff on Shein.com that you can get for really cheap or you can go to a thrift shop and find nice things as well. But uh, they do have a lot of stuff online uh, that's not very expensive that you can use uh, to tap into your dark feminine energy, okay? Um, yes, get your dark feminine energy look on. Just think of someone that is a seductress, dress like a seductress, but not a, not slutty, but like a, a dark seductress. Think vampire, think succubus, think like, <laughs> like, like Angelina Jolie, think uh, Rihanna when she's dressed and looking all, you know, extra. Think, think of like those type of women that just pull your attention. Okay. So, um, dark seductress energy is what you're going to need. Okay. Um, and this always gets the attention of men always. Catherine Zeta Jones back in the day. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. corsets um, that's giving more into S&M but if you can like my idea is more classy dark feminine energy corsets may give the wrong idea right away you, you can wear it under your outfit and maybe have like a corseted type of lingerie you could you could definitely do corsets but I think it's a, like depending on what type of man you're trying to attract <laughs> I would say that more for the bedroom or at home because like sometimes it, it's a little bit too much with everything else you know what I'm saying so if you're going to be like a dark feminine um like seductress you're already going to have the nails the heels the red lipstick the darker makeup and putting a corset is going to be a little bit too much. So keep it more natural, like classy, dark looking, and then have that on under it. Okay. Um, yeah. You don't want to look like you're trying too hard. It, it, will, it needs to look like it's normal to you or natural to you. It doesn't need to look like you're trying too hard. Okay. You said be an actress out there. Exactly. So, don't overdo it. It needs to look like this is who you are. Okay. It doesn't need to look like you have on a costume. <laughs> you said, what's the opposite of dark feminine energy? Bubbly, innocent, cute. Okay. So you're going to be the opposite of that. You're going to be mysterious, seductive, darker, more you know, unapologetic. Okay. So think about Angelina Jolie back in the day. Think about Rihanna when she's all dressed up in her darker looks. You know, think about um, someone said Catherine Zeta-Jones back in the day. Uh, just someone who will remind you of someone that's a very dark, mysterious seductress. Okay. You said Lil Nas. <laughs> if if that's what you like, baby, Lil Nas, yeah, whatever. Earth the kids, yeah, okay. <laughs> like um, okay, Dita Von Teese is a good one if you know who that is. Um. Someone said Grace Jones. Anybody that looks like they could be a vampire, basically. Anybody who you think might be a vampire, <laughs> but you don't, but you're unsure because they're blending in too well with society. Okay, so you're gonna have like a more vampy look, exactly. 
So your look needs to be more vampy. Because when men see that, when men see that look, they automatically are very interested because you're dangerous. Someone said Elvira, <laughs> because you're dangerous and you're, it looks like you're exciting and forbidden and going to make their life more interesting. Okay. So men are more attracted to that in, you know, as, as well, you know, even though they say that they don't want that type of woman, they do. And so I actually go into my other channel to talk more in depth about this in a few minutes, but I'm speaking on the spiritual aspect of this. When you, um, when you work with these uh, certain types of goddess energies within yourself, um, you're going to realize that there's a lot of things that you've been denying yourself, a lot of things that you've been holding back on, and they're more likely to come out when you, you know, work with, you know, your dark feminine aspect. And so don't be surprised if you discover things about yourself that you haven't discovered before. So for example, let's say you get your outfit together, you're dressed up looking like, you know, um, in your dark feminine energy look, and you go out and you talk, you know, to people and maybe somebody catches your eye and they, they walk over and they start talking to you. You know, you may be a little bit more seductive than you normally are. You may make a little bit more eye contact. You may have a little bit of different body language. And those are the things that you're going to, um, you know, pull them in with. So don't be surprised at yourself. Just let yourself do those things. Just let yourself feel it. Okay. Go with the flow because a lot of times women may get all the way, you know, to the point to where they're dressed and trying to, you know, work with this dark feminine energy. And then they clam up at the last minute and they're like, I can't do this. I'm, I'm not used to this. I'm not used to all this attention. You know, a lot of women do stuff like that, but what you have to do is go with it and see where it takes you. And you'd be surprised where it will take you sometimes. <laughs> okay. I need to fix that. I don't know what that is right there. Okay. I've allowed that to happen, like, to see where it would lead. And it always led to places that, you know, were good. <laughs> so chokers are bad. You don't want to overdo it. You don't want to overdo it. You know what I'm saying? You need to look polished versus trashy. Because, like, it's too obvious if you're wearing chokers and chains and, you know, all this kind of stuff. It's too obvious. You want to look like you're not even trying. This is who you really are. You understand? So if you're throwing on a choker and stuff, this is like on, it's like on purpose. But if you're just wearing a nice fitted black dress with, like, a nice heel, some lingerie, maybe some red nails or, in, you know, liner and darker lipstick and just like a darker look to you. Um, maybe some, you know, darker earrings or like a necklace with something red or some rubies or something, anything. Not overdoing it. You can show a little cleavage and stuff, but if, you, if you're walking around looking like you just came out of Hot Topic, it's going to be too obvious. Okay, so you don't want to look like you just shopped at Hot Topic. No offense to Hot Topic. I love Hot Topic. But you don't want to look like you just came out of there and threw an outfit together. You want to look like this is who you are. So you need to get normal, regular clothes in darker colors. Laces, satins, blacks, reds, burgundies, darker colors, okay? <laughs> um. And that's what you need to work with, not goth clothes, because that's too obvious. <laughs> you said leap, what? Like the live lady, thank you. You say I have to model this stuff. I just told y'all what it was. Just go out and shop for darker clothes that fit well and look sexy, not too short. You need to look classy because 
dark feminine goddess energy is more like a su classy seductress that just think about if you were a vampire and you were rich and you had a lot of money or if you are a vampire and you had lived through the ages and you're not trying to look like you work at Hot Topic, you're trying to look like a classy, polished, darker, feminine goddess, okay? This is, this is the look that you need to go for. You said binding an ex spell to use to lure them back. I don't ever lure exes back, sparkle, sparkle. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't do come back to me spells because if you left, then goodbye. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they have to come back on their own. That's the true magic. When they come back on their own, if you got to do stuff for them to come back, they don't really want to come back. And so you're wasting your time anyway. They may come back for a second, but yeah, definitely just gets you a new one. If they come back, it has to be on their own terms. You know why? Because then you can get whatever you want. If you make them come back, they're not gonna really even going to want to be there mentally. They're just going to be there and then be out again. And it's going to it's going to be worse for you because they don't really want to be there. So eventually they're going to leave again because they don't want to be there. And you can't really force someone to be with you that doesn't want to be with you. OK, so just get another one that maybe has the same characteristics as that person that you're trying to lure back in. So maybe do a attraction spell or, you know, something like that. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. Bohemian. Um, I like Bohemian too, but not for dark goddess energy. That's more for, you know, nature and, you know, just wow, free spirit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hippie type stuff. You're trying to, usually dark feminine energy is about, you know, material, their money, um, getting a man to do what they want. Sed seducing and all that stuff so i if you're gonna do boho do dark colors blacks reds laces you know don't do all them colors okay um yeah so make sure you're using darker colors if you're going to do that definitely um you don't want to look too scary okay let me let me let me talk about this. You don't want to look like a witch. You don't want to look like a vampire, but you want to look like you could be one. Okay, you get it? You get it? You don't, it doesn't need to be obvious. They said the best magicians are always hidden. Okay. So you don't want to be too obvious. Y'all, here's a dark goddess right here. Ah. Uh, so you see how popular Starbucks is, right? <laughs> Let's say use her image. And guess what? You need to do the same. Have your dark feminine energy mindset, unapologetic. You don't care. You're not a pygmisha, okay? You're not a doormat. You're not desperate. They're lucky to be in your presence. This is the attitude that you need to adopt, okay? They're lucky to be in your presence. When a, someone approaches you, you know, you look at them like they're prey. Prey. Like, ooh, like something to play with before you eat. So that's how you need to look at these men when they approach. Now, men, I know y'all, some of y'all are listening and y'all are saying, yeah, mm -hmm, I would like that. So. <laughs> I already talked about the books that I recommend. Any book on Lilith, any book on dark goddesses. And if you're more into the occult, I do recommend this book. And it is linked at the very top of this live chat, as well as in the description bar. Fruits of the Moon Tree, The Medicine Wheel, and Transpersonal Psychology by Alan Blakely. This is an old book written in 1984, but it's definitely occult-based. So, um, but I do have some other books in there that I do recommend on dark goddesses. Just scroll through. It's like my little Amazon spiritual link where I have all my spiritual items that I recommend and books and all that kind of stuff. I'll link it again. Y'all can look through that. But this video wasn't supposed to be very long. Dark feminine energy. Dark, 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 like dark. 
but not scary, but mysterious enough to pique the interest. A little bit, you know, vampy, but not trashy. Okay. So I'm going to talk more about this on my other channel. I'm getting ready to go over there now. I just wanted to give y'all a quick, brief description and kind of like the mindset and, you know, things like that. You said you're the bag. <laughs> if you got a bag, <laughs> Naomi Campbell, definitely. She is just definitely dark goddess energy. Yes. Love her. <laughs> um, Maleficent, yes, I said Angelina Jolie earlier. So, yeah, think of that type of energy. Like, anybody, anybody that embodies that type of unapologetic attitude, and don't be afraid of it because that's what's going to get you what you want. All right. All right, y'all. So I'm going to my other channel. We already got to go over there. I might switch the background. What do y'all think? Oh yeah. This is giving this is giving dark goddess energy. <laughs> okay. I don't know if y'all, if you're men, I don't know if you're gonna like that other channel. It's about gold digging and getting this money. <laughs> Y'all might not like me too much after that channel, y'all. Like, oh. But if you if you want to come watch, I don't I don't blame you. But be nice in the comments because you know I'll get you. You might be nice over here, but I'm evil over there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just letting you guys know it's Shira Seven One. I'll type it in so y'all can just find it on the internet, on the internet. Okay, just type in Shira71. You can see all my gold digging techniques. <laughs> all right. I'm getting ready to do a similar topic, so I'll see y'all over there. <laughs> 